Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so once I go ahead and get my laundry going, I am then going to be smoking a cigarette in a coin laundry in Japan while waiting for my laundry to finish. Here is the coin laundry right here. It's a pretty nice coin laundry if I do say so myself. And it has an ashtray in it, or at least it did last time I did my laundry here. Here's the ashtray, you know what I'm saying? Here is the ashtray. So I can indeed smoke in this coin laundry. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my tripod down real quick just so I can actually go ahead and actually get my laundry going and everything like that. Because I mean like, I can't smoke a cigarette in the coin laundry until I actually, well, go ahead and start getting my laundry all done. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So I'm just gonna be using uh, this coin washer right here. I guess you guys can't see it. I probably should show y'all in all honesty, right? So I'm just gonna be using this coin washer right here. It costs 200 yen to use. It takes about 35 minutes, I wanna say. I don't know what this does. All I know is I put the 200 yen in and then it just starts going and that's all I need it to do in all honesty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, well, just go ahead and put my laundry in and everything like that kind of thing. I got my little baggie right here full of everything that I need. I got my detergent. I got my dirty laundry and everything like that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw everything in there. Got two pairs of socks and a pair of underwear I need to wash because I only brought three pairs of socks and two pairs of underwear with me. So I figure I should probably do my laundry uh, when I'm <laughs> on its when, when it's on its last legs. I ain't going to lie y'all. And then I got my... Uh, detergent right here and everything like that kind of thing. Let's see if I can get that off. And let's just pour a bunch in, try to get it all smelling all good and everything like that kind of thing. I probably, pro probably, what is that? That's two pairs of socks and one pair of underwear. That's five items. Probably doesn't need this much detergent. But you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more anyway. You know what they say, shot? No, I'm just kidding, I'm not taking a shot. Of I'm not taking a shot of this. Let's see, let's see, all right, there we go. No Tide Pod challenge for me, that is for sure. No Tide Pod challenge, that is for me, or that is for sure for me. But, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put my detergent over here on this little cart or something like that kind of thing. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my 200 yen in the washing machine right here. Make sure that's all closed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my 200 yen out of my pocket. Hopefully, that's a 10 yen, that's a 100 yen right there. I need one more 100 yen. Let's see if I can get this going, there we go. Got that going, certainly no complaints on my behalf, and I just realized somebody else has their laundry going as well. But let's go ahead and throw the 200 yen in here. There we go, there's one, so now it popped up 100. And let's go and put the other in. And there we go, it's going. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I can now, well, smoke a cigarette in a Japanese coin laundry while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish because while well, my laundry is actually going now, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how well y'all can actually see me when I'm, when I'm with that camera angle angle. I think I'm just gonna put my camera like right here and hopefully y'all will be able to see me all right and everything like that kind of thing. I certainly hope so. I'm gonna actually check that real quick. Can y'all see me okay? Yeah, y'all y'all can probably see me all right, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna move my phone down a little bit Oh, just like that kind of thing. I think y'all can see me a little bit better now. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my Good Angaram Surya Mild Clove Cigarettes from Japan all lit up and go ahead and start smoking a cigarette in a Japanese coin laundry while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I literally came in here to do my laundry like a couple days ago without even realizing that you could smoke in here because there's an ashtray and everything like that kind of thing. And I was like, wait a minute, you could smoke in here? Nice, I'm glad I brought my cigarettes because <laughs> I, I was considering not bringing my cigarettes because I was like, it's a coin laundry. Why would why would they let you smoke inside? But this ain't the United States, you know what I'm saying? This ain't the United States. Coin laundry in the United States, laundromat in the United States would never, ever, ever let you smoke inside. And I think most of the coin laundries in Japan too would never let you smoke inside. I just got lucky with finding one that they don't care. But man, it really is a different world than the United States. This would never fly in the United States. This would never fly. But I mean like, hey, this ain't the United States, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf. And right off the bat, this cigarette is some gas, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Fano, it's uh, 200 yen 
to get my clothes washing and everything like that kind of thing, and then it's 100 yen to dry them. The dryer works okay. It takes about another hour to get everything really actually dry, just hanging up in my uh, Airbnb I'm staying at and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, but it's not so bad, you know, I'm saying it's not so bad. 300 yen or about, I wanna say, 225 to get all of my laundry done. It's cheaper than it would be in the United States, although washing machines in the United States are like a buck. And then uh, it's like dryers are like a buck, two bucks or something like that kind of thing. And that's for the that's for the low end kind of thing. So it's definitely one of those things that uh, it's a lot cheaper here than it is uh, in the United States, that's for sure. So certainly no complaints about behalf. And super convenient as well because the apartment complex I'm staying at, this is the one that's closest to the apartment complex I'm staying at right now. But no joke, if you walk a block that way and a block down that way, there are two more nicer ones. But I, I just went to this one because it was really close. And then I realized, wow, I'm really glad I went to this one because I can smoke inside. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. But man, oh man, this Siggy, some gas, I ain't gonna lie on. Some absolute gas. The Gude Garam Suryas are so good, and I ain't gonna lie, it's getting me pretty buzzed right now. It is getting me pretty buzzed right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But the uh, laundry machine, machine I'm using, this is the 200 yen one, because it's only 4.5 kilos. But we can look and see that there are also other ones. So these ones are 300 yen, and these ones are for uh, seven kilograms, as we can see right there. And then this one's for seven kilograms as well. And so these are 300 yen because you can fit a little bit more in. I don't know what this one is in all honesty. I have no clue if this is a dryer or if this is a washing machine. I really have no clue. And then all of the dryers are right here. And these are all gas dryers. And this is something that is completely new to me. Gas dryers are uh, not a thing, I think, in my area. I don't know. When I was a kid, my parents never had a, uh, a gas dryer, but also the house we lived in didn't have gas. So that's probably why we didn't have a gas dryer. I really have no clue if gas dryers are a thing or not in the United States. I really do not know in all honesty, uh, but it is still certainly cool to see. But in all honesty, uh, the, the coin laundry here is pretty much the same as laundromats are in the United States, except there's a hell of a lot more coin laundries here than there are in the uh, United States, that is for sure. Going to a laundromat in the United States, you kind of have to find one. I mean, like they exist, of course, but they're not like right next to where you live. Whereas here, it's like everywhere kind of thing. It's crazy. There's three within a one block radius, essentially where I am right now. And pretty much every Airbnb I've stayed at, there's been at least one within like two blocks kind of thing. It really is crazy how common coin laundries are, but it makes sense because a lot of uh, people apparently in Japan uh, don't own a laundry machine or their apartment doesn't have even room for a laundry machine. So they have to use a coin laundry. And I'm glad it's not super expensive either. I was afraid that the coin laundry is gonna be like 300 yen for both the uh, washer and the dryer kind of thing, 300 yen for each. But it's really not, it's 300 yen as a whole, like 225 kind of thing, you gotta wait an hour, it's not so bad, you know what I'm saying? I could totally just go up, back up to my apartment and everything like that, or the Airbnb I'm staying at right now, because um, I, I don't think anybody's gonna run off with my stuff, but honestly, I just prefer to sit in here and just chill out and smoke a little bit than to go back in my uh, Airbnb where I can't smoke. You know the moves, you know the moves. Gotta, gotta have my priority straight, you know what I'm saying? And this is my priority, the smoke. Bano certainly can't complain. Man, this would never fly in the United States. It's so nice to be able to smoke inside a coin laundry. I don't even know if this is legal in Japan, in all honesty. I hope it is, but I really have no clue if it is or not. But I mean, like, hey, this would really, this would actually literally, literally never fly in the United States. Being able to smoke in the laundromat, in the coin laundry, never fly in the United States. So, so glad to have the opportunity to uh, do it today, that is for sure. And man, I'm feeling so much better now. I was feeling so out of it when I first started this video because I hadn't had a cigarette in I want to say about an hour and a half. But man, now that I'm having my nicotine, I'm feeling so much better, feeling so much more awake right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But man, oh man, this is a good cigarette. The Surya's, oh man, they are so damn good. So damn good. Certainly no complaints on my behalf.
We've got 26 minutes left on the on the laundry machine. Certainly no complaints about the end. Oh man. And I ain't gonna lie, so this is like the, I don't know if you guys can see above me, but above me there is a, uh, a tube that's the exhaust for the uh, laundry machines. And there's no heating, there's no air conditioning in the coin laundry. So last time when I was here, it was like really cold. It was like 11.30 at night when I was doing my laundry because I needed to do my laundry and I forgot to do it for the rest of the day. Um, so it was like 11.30 at night and it was pretty chilly. It was like, I wanna say like 40 degrees outside. It's like 40 degrees outside right now, but it's also sunny, so it makes it a little bit warmer. Uh, but it's 40, degree out, 40 degrees outside and it was really cold in the laundromat. So what I was doing for like half the time is I was walking back and forth inside the laundromat and going and putting my hands above where the exhaust is because there's so much heat coming through the coming through the exhaust from the uh, dryer. It was so nice, I ain't gonna lie. That, uh, that pure heat and inhaling all of that lint, you know, super healthy, you know what I'm saying, super healthy. Man, oh man, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh-oh, somebody dropped something. Don't know what they dropped, but they dropped something. Man, this is so good, though. So sweet, my mouth is feeling numb right now. Legitimately, no complaints on my behalf about my cigarette or about the smoking experience I'm having right now where I'm able to smoke a cigarette in a Japanese coin laundry. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. It's getting me really buzzed though. It's so nice. Man, I don't really have too much else to say in all honesty. I'm feeling really good right now. Just waiting for my laundry to get done. And uh, I'm doing what the title of this video says. I'm doing what the title of this video says. Smoking a cigarette in a Japanese coin laundry while waiting for my laundry to finish. That's what I'm doing right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Well, I think I'm all done with this cigarette. It is getting a little bit rough for me, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My throat is dying just a little bit, so I think I'm all done with my smoke for the moment. I'm feeling pretty buzzed, I'm feeling pretty good, and so as such, I do think without further ado, I'm gonna go and end off this video right now. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I smoked a cigarette inside a Japanese coin laundry while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish. My laundry is going right now. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Uh, not, not really much else to say in all honesty. Not really much else to say. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And uh, I think the only other thing I wanted to say is that it's just so nice to be able to smoke a cigarette while I'm waiting for my laundry to finish. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying.